what are synchronicities and does the phenomena have legitimate meaning? Synchronicities are, succinctly, meaningful coincidences. For a synchronicity to be distinct from a simple coincidence requires the presence of an objective observer to perceive the implied meaning of the coincidence. A coincidence can occur with no observer. A single final snowflake may start a vast avalanche and a tree may fall in the woods even if no one is around to see or hear it doing so. <coughs> However, a synchronicity, by definition, requires an objective observer to impute their own connotations onto an event, thus rendering it, philosophically, subjective to their psyche. So, clearly, interpretation of the meaning of any synchronicity is subjective even if the apparent occurrence of a synchronicity may seem undeniable. Many do what is currently called following synchronicities, where they seek to not only find a single coincidence meaningful, but a whole string of them, as if a series of carefully placed clues leading them along to some hidden treasure at the end of a great adventure. So one may have a run of luck that is either good or bad, but this is strictly from the perspective of the individual. Either way, the house always wins. Likewise, one may follow a string of synchronicities, sometimes called going down a rabbit hole, but where one will ultimately end up becomes increasingly unpredictable. So synchronicities are, essentially, psychosomatic, being based on confirmation bias for identification and a self-fulfilling prophecy for discovery. That being said, however, it is possible that there exists what Jung identified as an a-causal connecting principle operating at right angles, his prediction, to ordinary cause and effect. In truth, fourth spatial dimensional metaform shapes pass through us invisibly as microgravity waves of faster-than-light tachyons all the time, and we do not even notice. These fourth spatial dimensional shapes can connect one location in space-time to another location at a vast distance and or duration away. In this sense, it is not impossible that there may be a higher dimensional sentient life form or entity that guides people's choices through subtle subliminal messaging and synchronicities occurring just around the periphery of their perception. Now, whether such an entity would be good or evil depends, again, entirely on one's personal point of view. Whether such an entity exists in any tangible sense is also irrelevant because it is the product of chasing synchronicities that are themselves superstition to begin with. The idea of one's luck being influenced by the fates or by any forces greater than one's own free will is simply a dodge to avoid accepting personal responsibility for one's own actions. Likewise, looking for synchronicities makes them easier to discover. 